It's the annual event benefiting low-income, elderly, disabled, and veteran homeowners in Oakland County. Uh, it's something I've competed in in the last few years. So have several of my colleagues, and we have video proof on the way. Uh, this year's 10th annual Faith in Action Dancing with the Stars event happening next month. And this morning we have some of the dancers here joining me first. I just want to introduce Dr. Carl Pesta Hello. and his professional dancer, Jamie Opperly, who <laughs> was my partner way back when. Trisha Latinas, who uh, owns Trish, what's the name? Trisha's Tasty Treats. Trisha's Tasty Treats, yeah. yes. And your professional dancer, James Valentino. Uh, let me start with you guys. Uh, what kind of dance are you doing? We're doing the cha-cha. The cha You're a tango guy, I thought. I am. Oh, well, obviously, not a one-trick pony. Nice, right. I like that. So how's it going so far? Practices are amazing. He's the best teacher ever. It's, just so, it's so much fun. Every, you know, every day is just more, it's more fun. It's a lot of energy, high energy, and a lot of practice. I swear, the biggest part of it is just the decision uh, went Jackie Smirka, who runs the whole show, when she beats you up long enough and you finally say yes, <laughs> that's like the biggest hump to get over, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. The, but the fear's gone? Yeah. You're ready no, to go? he's, a, like, he's an amazing teacher. I am very very blessed to have such a great teacher. He's very patient. Right. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the teachers in a second. Uh, Dr. Pesta, tell me yeah. about uh, how, how are you? How are you doing? You ready for this? We're, yeah, we're excited. So we've got a really nice medley. I, there's not really a, a, a style of dance. It's a really nice combination that Jamie's put together. You've worked with her, so you know how fabulous she is. She came up uh, with a so, song I'd never heard of. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah and the music's going to be great. Um, we're rehearsing like crazy. Uh, we got a couple of big ones this weekend before she takes off to Las Vegas for a week. So, so we got, we're getting down to crunch Abandoning time. Abandoning him. <laughs> Uh, so I, I'm thinking back about this time when I was yeah. dancing with Jamie, and I remember thinking with a month ago, I don't even know the whole dance yet. And right. she's like, that's right. fine, we'll get to it. I'm like, get to it, I'm terrified. Right. Do, you know, do you know the whole thing? You got We finalized it last week, okay. and so now we just got to you know, get it with the music, um, work out the, the, the little minor details. But we're, we're excited and we're ready to take on the challenge. Uh, Jamie, how's he doing? He's awesome. Yeah? Yeah, I'm so lucky. You, thank you, thank you. Have, you have had some good partners, but I have. I feel oh, like you always get bad luck and you just, the judges snub you every year. Yeah, I don't oh. know. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. We should have won. I'm just, uh, and we do have video. Uh, James, by the way, uh, are you, how excited are you for this? And what's the, I guess, what's the biggest trick when you are dancing with someone? Is it learning the routine or what, getting them over the anxiety? What is it? Uh, first thing, what their skill set is, uh, yeah. and then maximizing that for the uh, performer. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. When you when you get somebody who can't dance, not you, Trisha. <laughs> somebody like me, you're like, okay, here's what I'm working with, uh, which is a nice segue. Take a look at what Jamie was working with in 2016. Uh, this was, I thought we did a pretty good job. I was nervous as heck, and then we got out there, and it was pretty much flawless, I thought. It was perfect. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we think we should have won still. Uh, but the person who did win was Miss Ashley Barrissey in 2015. This is part of her routine. Oh, look at her go. There she goes. She's a dancer by trade. <laughs> so a Ashley won this thing. And then uh, Kim DiGiulio also competed a few years later, I think 2018. Kim was out there. That's Kim right there. Kim didn't win either, but she did very well, I remember, because I uh, MC this every year now. Uh, since I've uh, danced, now I'm the MC, so I was MC of this one. Kim did very good. And so did Priya. Priya was in it in 2017. And there's a look at some of Priya's dancing right there. And now I need everybody who's watching to make sure you email Darnell Blackburn. Oh, no, no, no. Jackie, that's the next one. We need to get Darnell in this thing. So I'm putting Jackie on, on blast right there. But uh, here's a look at all the Dancing with the Stars this year, as, uh, as well as the celebrity judges. Uh, you can still get tickets to the event, which is March 9th at the San Marino Club. It's in Troy. Tickets 100 bucks. But like we said, you are really going a long way to helping uh, folks in Oakland County who need simple things like handicap ramps at their homes. And we get uh, a lot of these carpenters donate their own time to help build these. It comes with an open bar and dinner entertainment that is partially right here. So you guys, last, last minute thoughts are, what's your prediction? Doc? Oh, it's going to be a great challenge, but we hope to come out on top. We'll be, ta we'll be taking home that Mirabal trophy. Oh, there it is. Is. <laughs> it's really just that simple. This pie lady is not going home without that Mirabal trophy. <laughs> and if a judge gives her a bad score, you you know you've got the key lime pies to just I know, exactly. right there. No, right there. Guys, thanks for getting up early and coming in this morning. Thank, Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Great. <laughs> Here's weather.